Hi everyone, about a minute on Elon Musk's lunatic master plan part three. Um, you may have heard about this, but Tesla just released, I think it was earlier today, <clears throat> what they're calling master plan part three, sustainable energy for all of earth. I'll cut to the chase. This is just fantasy. Uh, it's fiction disguised as some kind of elite corporate thinking and corporate strategy. Um, it's not going to work. There are a whole lot of reasons why it won't work. Uh, I'm, today, I'm just going to talk about the battery storage part of this. So one of the first numbers presented in this paper, this, this report, this uh, analysis spreadsheet, I'll call it, is the amount of storage required. 240 terawatt hours is the number that Tesla puts forward. Okay, terawatt hour, what's terawatt hour? It's 1,000 gigawatt hours. Keep that in mind. Okay, Tesla has five gigafactories. Each gigafactory can produce about 50 gigawatt hours of battery capacity a year. Okay, so that's 250 at current rates. Tesla can produce about 250 gigawatt hours of battery capacity per year. So to produce 240 thousand gigawatt hours or 240 terawatt hours given tesla's current capacity would take 960 years i just did the math okay 960 years and the the what they're putting forward is a 20-year time horizon saying oh well it's going to cost more to use hydrocarbons or 14 trillion or something than our plan okay well let's assume tesla can I increase the number of gigafactories assuming there's enough lithium copper labor all this other stuff they can uh, increase their output tenfold and go to 50 gigafactories, it would still take 96 years for them to produce 240 terawatt hours of battery storage. This is just foolishness. And it's getting a lot of media attention, of course, because everything Elon Musk does gets, gets a lot of media attention. I'll talk about the other parts of the plan later. Uh, in the meantime, follow me on Substack, robertbryce.substack.com. Thanks a lot. See you.